To better understand the different types of speaker designs available when choosing studio monitors, it's worth taking a minute to go over the mechanics of how loudspeakers work. Speakers are transducers. They convert an audio wave from electrical to acoustic form. In fact, they're like microphones in reverse, and they use the same designs. Some speakers use electrostatic principles or ribbon elements, especially for high frequencies. But the most common approach is the moving coil design. A moving coil loudspeaker utilizes a coil moving in an electromagnetic field to convert an electrical audio wave to an acoustic audio wave. There's a permanent magnet and an assembly with a coil of wire wrapped around it. This is called the voice coil. The voice coil sits within the magnetic field of the speaker magnet. A wire connecting to the voice coil carries the audio signal from the amplifier. The voice coil assembly is attached to the speaker's diaphragm, the speaker cone, or dome, itself. When an incoming audio signal passes through the voice coil, it creates a magnetic field which interacts with the field of the magnet. This causes the voice coil assembly and the attached speaker diaphragm to move back and forth as the polarity of the audio signal swings between positive and negative. Naturally, when the speaker moves, it displaces air molecules, creating compressions and rarefactions, forming an acoustic sound wave. The speaker's job is to reproduce the audible frequency range of 20 Hz to 20 kHz. To optimize reproduction, typically the overall frequency range is divided between two or more speakers in the speaker cabinet. That'll be discussed in the next video. Of course, all speakers are limited in their ability to reproduce lower frequencies, and the various approaches to dealing with that are the reason for the wide variety of cabinet designs that'll make up much of this course in the upcoming videos. Speaker design always involves a trade-off between three elements, low frequency response, size, and efficiency. Efficiency is measured by how much sound pressure level a particular speaker model can put out with a given amount of amplifier power. Listed as sensitivity on speaker spec sheets, this rating is meant to help speaker buyers match an appropriate power amplifier to a set of monitors. But with the widespread prevalence of powered speakers, speakers with the amplification built into the cabinets themselves, this spec is probably less familiar nowadays. But the trade-off between those three elements still holds true. If you want a monitor that can play loud and have deep bass response, it'll need a bigger low-frequency speaker and a bigger cabinet. If you want a small loudspeaker that can play very loudly, you'll have to sacrifice some bass response, and so on. However, some of the cabinet designs employed make it possible to enhance or extend the bass response, making it possible for a speaker of a given size and efficiency to have better bass response than it would otherwise be capable of. Again, those various cabinet designs will be the subject of many of the upcoming videos. Next up, the components of a typical studio monitor.